Up next, the battle against noxious weeds. The Bend Municipal Airport has turned to a low-tech, environmentally friendly way to tackle the problem. Take a look. Okay, the, the, we have a very serious weed problem. We've had uh, basically started out with a pilot uh, bringing it to my attention that we had a, a noxious weed around the fuel island. And it was a, a rather, it, it ends up being a breeding ground for weeds for all the surrounding areas. And so we'd like to control that. We have 400 acres out here that's uh, pretty hard to keep on top of. And, but one of the issues we run into is the proximity of the aircraft. Uh, there's a lot of people out here. We're a little bit nervous about using herbicides. And uh, so using the use of uh, goats really fit in well. Everybody loves the goats. We've had people actually land and ask where they can find the goats. And our neighbors, I haven't really had much input from them one way or the other. I think that they probably um, enjoy the fact that we have something maybe besides just the high-tech airplanes. We've, we've got something a little more down to earth, so to speak. <laughs> right, we don't use the goats around the runways. And the problem with that is, is in the rare possibility that one should escape. And we're very careful about that, but it could happen. Also, the, the fences obviously are metal. They're fairly high. That could be a problem with the wings of the aircraft. But also the safety of the goats. If someone should run off the runway, uh, something arise, you know, there would also be the chance of injuring the goats also. Uh, the reason we don't mow is that by using the goats, it doesn't scatter the seeds. They actually digest about 90 to 98 percent of the weed seed. Uh, they're much better than other animals. Uh, other animals tend to be uh, what you would call broadcast units, I guess, so that it works much better using the goats. They're also, they will eat, as we've seen, almost anything. There's actually some rare and endangered species here. Uh, there's only 450 of that particular species in, uh, still left in the world. And so that's where they came from, and it's just a project they've been working on, started about three months ago, and uh, it seems to be pretty successful from what I see.